I do think uh, it is creativity. So I, I slightly disagree with the fact that technology sparks creativity. It's, it's maybe the other way around. Creativity creates new areas for technology. However, um, during the debate, I think this word curiosity came about. You cannot, be, you cannot become really creative if you're not curious about what else is out there. And I think looking for sources, sources of insp inspiration, and there were some examples shown of how people get their inspiration from anywhere. I mean, Steven Spielberg walks around San Francisco and picks up stuff, and which ends up in his movies. And, and, and I think this, you know, keeping your eyes open, your ears open, and, you know, your radar as on long range as possible to pick up all kinds of interesting stuff. And, and technology is just like that. We all know that a lot of the te technologies we see on TechCrunch um, or GigaOM will never make it, will never be as successful as Facebook. But I think part of the name of the game is, you know, keep you know, yourself awake and look into the old new kinds of stuff. And, and, and you see new kinds of stuff and, 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 and it creates other ideas or things that you could do. Oh, I wish I could do this. Oh, I wish I could do that. And the powerful mechanism mashing up, picking up pieces and putting them together in another way as powerful. And uh, technology is really enabling this. Um, I think there is a creative elite. And I think uh, Robin Milne made a great presentation about how we must try to get more people more creative more often. So I think creativity is an asset that we all have. There is a creative elite whose job is perhaps to stimulate and bubble up this creativity that is everywhere. So I think the creative class is the population of planet Earth. The creative elite has a job to make this enable this, you know, hidden creativity. A lot of people, I mean, I for one will say I'm, I'm not creative. I came here to learn. Uh, but what, the, what I really meant was I'm looking for new ways for my creativity to express. I'm looking for inspiration. I'm looking for, you know, new ideas, new that will get my brain working in another direction. Um, so I think there are a few people that are fortunate enough to have kind of, you know, like the idea hamster constantly running in their brain. So I think um, it's like democracy. It, it is not the asset of anyone, it's the asset of everybody. But there is um, a political elite whose job is to, you know, perhaps to think about democracy, but they don't own it. So the creative elite doesn't own creativity.